Hello everyone, welcome to my channel with a brand new video and today in this video we are going to test does NVIDIA new overclocking settings really help you to getting the more FPS while you gaming on your PC? If yes, so what is the best settings for it? So guys make sure to stick with this video till the end to finding out the truth behind it. Also make sure to subscribe, drop a like on this video and without wasting any time let's dive straight into over this video. Here is a quick reminder of my sponsor gear booster if you want to get the lower ping and lowest input delay in Fortnite. With just one click so guys you need to download and use the gear booster on your pc and from my link you can get seven days free trial so guys check out the link in the description so guys in the very first step you need nvidia app for overclocking your gpu safely with the brand new nvidia app and guys you can download it from the nvidia official website simply search for nvidia app and you can download this beta nvidia app on your pc once you download this tool on your pc now you need to go straight to where your the system option there you will find out this performance tab go inside it and there you will find that automatic tuning you need simply guys turn on the settings and this will find out the best settings automatically by the nvidia official sources and help you to getting the best performance safely out of your any gpu so guys once you follow the settings on your pv now let's go for some other graphic settings so open up this graphics tab now go for global settings there you will find our multiple settings and we are going to fix it so in the very first step here we go to rtx dynamic y bands make sure to turn off the settings cura gpu make sure to set it on your gpu this will help you if you are using the multiple gpus on your pc so guys simply select out here your gpu that is connected with your pc and apply now dsr factor make sure to turn it off image scaling turn it off low latency mode set it on on or ultra now go for max frame turn it off Monitor technology is G-Sync compatible. Power management mode set it on prefer maximum performance. Shader cache go for this drop down and set it on 100 GB. Now go for vertical sync, turn it off and virtual reality also make sure to turn off the settings. After that hit apply and close out your NVIDIA control panel. Now guys let's jump into the Fortnite and find out the best setting with and without overclocking over GPU using NVIDIA app. So guys here is the results of the Fortnite battle royale in the Fortnite reload after playing it. The complete game here you can check it out here the cloaked and the stock side of the nvidia gpu in our fortnite game here is our overclock settings and here is the performance like we are getting like average uh 235.2 fps in fortnite using the overclock settings and here is 228.2 fps without overclocking settings of the nvidia in fortnite battle royale this is guys a good difference like you can get around four to five more fps out of your pc safely without damaging your gpu it is very helpful for small pcs so guys you can also test it out on your pc itself it depend on pc to pc but guys it helped me to getting a smooth performance without having any kind of stutters if you just simply go into this analysis option there you will find out here this kind of this stuff like if you want to see like how much starting you are getting so here you can check it out here over overclock settings we are getting 1.46 seconds of the settings if you go into your uh, stock settings here you can check it out here we have get more stutterings and uh, fps drops in the uh, stock settings of the nvidia so guys overclocking is recommended me and it is also help you to getting the best performance out of your pc in any game i hope you love this video please make sure to drop a like subscribe to my channel and see you again in the next video.